The notorious moderate rebels have blown up a bridge on the M4 highway in southern Idlib as part of their effort to sabotage the creation of a security zone in the area. The Kafra Bridge is located near the town of Jisra al shuhua near positions of Hayat Tari al-Sham and the Turkestan Islamic Party, both of which are linked to Al-Qaeda. Surprisingly, pro-opposition sources publicly admit that the bridge was destroyed to hinder Russian-Turkish plans to conduct joint patrols along the M4. After previous acts of sabotage against the deal, supporters of the Idlib moderates opted to blame Russian barbarians, sectarian Iranian militias, or the puppet Assad regime. But such claims did not hold water because the rough actions of the Idlib militants were too obvious. Over the past two weeks, Turkish troops have conducted at least eight patrols on their own along the M4 highway and participated in two joint patrols with Russian military police west of Sarakib. However, the presence of the Turkish army in the area of the supposed security zone did not stop supporters of Idlib armed groups from building barriers with large mounds of earth, blowing up bridges, destroying improvised Turkish road checkpoints, and even staging IED attacks on Turkish military columns. The constant threat of terrorist attacks will clearly remain a sad reality of modern Idlib for as long as Al-Qaeda-linked groups exist there. On March the 25th, a Turkish soldier, Umit Udul, shot himself dead near the town of Ras al Ain, which is currently controlled by Turkey. Kurdish sources claim that he did it as an act of protest against the actions of the Turkish army in Syria. However, these claims remain unconfirmed. The security situation in the Turkish-controlled part of Syria's northeast has been deteriorating for months, so the incident may have been a result of local tensions. Two Turkish soldiers were killed by the Kurdistan Workers' Party PKK in Iraq's Kurdistan region in the area of the Turkish anti-PKK operation CLAW. The Turkish Defense Ministry confirmed the casualties, saying that eight PKK members were neutralized in response to the attack. Rocket strikes continue hitting US-linked facilities across Iraq. Early on March the 26th, several rockets were launched at the area of the US Embassy in Baghdad's Green Zone. A day earlier, on March the 25th, unidentified forces shelled Camp Taji, the biggest military base hosting U.S. troops, in the country. Regular rocket attacks already forced the U.S. military to evacuate several smaller bases, including the key fortified facility near the Syrian border, al Qaim. This was done under the pretext of successes against ISIS and COVID-19-related issues. Meanwhile, the U.S.-led coalition itself is collapsing. On March the 25th, Major General Abdul Karim Khalaf, a spokesman for the Commander-in-Chief of the Iraqi Armed Forces, announced that French troops had withdrawn from Iraqi territory.